I'm Amanda Taylor from Guide for Geek Moms. And thank you both for joining me today. Um, I love hey. the movie. It's been, it was fun. Uh, so big, big city, you know, the blues, big city adventure really reunites the three of you again, the three hosts, right? Josh, Joe, and Steve. And this isn't the first time we all came together. So my first question is, what it's like, what was it like to have the three of you, you know, get together on set again? Do you give each other advice or is it just a big fun fest? <laughs> you can start first, Donovan. <laughs> Well, I'm always looking for any kind of advice that I can get from Josh. Basically, I'm like, how do you do that? How, how do you do what you do? You, you're going to see Josh doing stuff in this movie that you haven't, you might think you've seen what he's capable of. You haven't seen it. It's it's pretty enjoyable um, and impressive too. Uh, so yeah, but the three of us get along fantastically. It's it's It really is like, a, a, you know, it's acting, but it is like family. It's a, I don't know, it's fun. Yeah, it's always like getting back together with family that you love. And uh, it is a fun fest. Every day on set with Steve and Donovan is an easy day for me. It doesn't matter who is carrying uh, the bulk of the dialogue. And thankfully, it's mostly them. <laughs> uh, it's an easy day because they're just such phenomenal actors. Forget about that they're amazing people and just like really fun to be with. Like forget about that fact. Cause that's- Oh, we're gonna forget that? That's what we're gonna forget? Okay. That's what we're gonna forget. Because like getting to watch them is a joy. You know Steve and Joe from the show, but you do not really know Steve and Joe. This movie brings out a side of them that is just so funny and um it's as the, if their humor has grown with their audience. So all of the, the if, if you're a parent, if you watch them as a kid, you're going to love this movie. And I just want to see Steve and Donovan do more. And um, I hope we all get to work together uh, inside and outside of this movie, because it is just a good stink in time. <laughs> it is. And you kind of almost answered my next question because since I have the two of you here, I kind of would, you know, want to know something that uh, if you can share something about each other, maybe something fun, unique, or special about that the other brought, you know, to the film and their character. So I well, think Josh we go directly already... to Josh's <laughs> deepest, darkest secrets. I think let's do that, right? Yeah. No, that... <laughs> or that. Oh, we don't or wanna... that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that uh, uh, so Don, I love Steve and I love Donovan. Uh, they're both incredibly talented, uh, special human beings, but I will fight anyone that says that they have heard or seen a better Chris Walken impression than Donovan Patton. <laughs> the only person that does Chris Walken knows better jiu-jitsu. than Donovan Patton is oh, Christopher, Sir Christopher oh. Walken himself. And I'm willing to fall on my sword for it because it, it it's it's it is jarring. Well, now we okay, need to Josh, hear it. We need to hear it. Josh, now, right? he says he's going to fall on his sword. But my question to you is, who walks around with a sword these days? It's 2022, Josh. You don't need a sword. You got lawyers. You could use humor to defend yourself if you need. <laughs> it's fun every that time. That was perfect. Josh, was right. <laughs> thank you. No, but Josh, like hanging around when you when you hang out on set with Josh, you gotta be you gotta be right next to him because dude is under the radar hilarious. Like he won't he won't like I'm I'm a little more just like I'll make sure everybody in the whole room is like if I have even like the mildest clever thought I'm like. Hey, Everybody. Uh, but Josh is like, he, he he just like, he'll just have all of these things and he'll be like, okay. And then he'll just like say something. I remember uh, uh, this wasn't part of the movie, but it was a New York experience. So it sort of applies. Um, just some of the moments on the float at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade last year. He's like, we'd be waving and he'd just be like, oh my gosh. And you just like, this secondary commentary that's coming from Josh is is so fun. It's uh, it's really enjoyable, but it's, but it's like, but you gotta be there. You gotta be like right there. It's you great. say that because we're not married and you don't have to spend every waking moment <laughs> with me. If you talk to my wife, she'll be like, oh yeah, he's funny. 
Yeah, no, I I make my wife laugh twice a year, and I I'm like <laughs> it makes my day the whole day. I'll write it in a calendar in pen. Well, I'm so sad to say it's already ended for our little discussion, but thank you so much for taking the time out, and it's been a pleasure. I love the movie, so thanks again, you guys. Thank you.